back in here. We're at a racetrack. How many of you have seen this car before? First time? First time? It's 1,230 kilos. It's the weight. 500, uh, 500 kilowatts horsepower maximum. IMSA can tell our horsepower at all times. It's a it's a V8 twin turbo. It's got a P66 slash three, and it's made into a transmission that is the same for everyone in the series. It has a hybrid unit in it. The hybrid unit. The hybrid unit is rated at 30 kilowatts. Not very much. It is capable of a lot more, but the, the series rules only allow us to use 30. Now that 30 is included in the 500. So if you're using 30 kilowatts out of the hybrid unit, you have 470 kilowatts out of the cabinet. The hybrid system regenerates on braking rear brakes so that's how the batteries are replenished and it's it's usable or the hybrid system is usable for boost it's, we use it in pit, pit lane for exiting and that's most of it. and it's used to start the gas motor as well okay only the rear brake only the rear brake <coughs> yeah is this V8 production based? Something? No, this is not a V8 production based. Um, this V8 is from DTM from 2012-2016. Uh, it was naturally aspirated for DTM. It's a proper V engine, so a proper motor engine. And it was it was the most feasible one to, to use for this package. In, in the DTMs, it was naturally aspirated, now it's turbocharged. It's uh, been tweaked a little bit to, to handle endurance racing, and now it's made it to the, to the hybrid system. It's so much better when you're not. It's great. All right. Yes, yeah, so you can, can hear you us. start again now? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, there are four chassis you can use in this series. Delara, Ultimatic, Orica, and I'm missing one. Uh, uh, Ligier. Ligier. Us and Cadillac use use uh, Delara, but that doesn't mean that they're the same cars. Delara works with us. The underbody aerodynamics are fixed by the series, so that's Delara stuff. The the uh, passenger cell or the driver cell is is a Delara homologated piece. The upper body work is for us to do. And this gentleman here, Michael Scully, is the gentleman who did the upper, upper body work. <coughs> hello, hello. Looking good. How are you guys? So he's the guy that made it look like a BMW. Now, part of the rules are... The best looking is... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, while, it, while I don't have to scream, you see the green light on the car. That means the car is safe. But there are... But you see there's a big hook right here. This has a high voltage 800 volt hybrid system in it. If that light is off or it's red, it means there's a problem with the high voltage system in the car. Never touch the car. That hook is to pull you off if you touch the car. If you go in to pull your friend off, you'll get pulled in too. You don't mess around with 800 volt uh, high voltage. So, so that's why the little green hat on the top that's why the light on the side, and that's why I'm not letting you in here, unfortunately. So, um, so there, there are some safety protocols we have to maintain with these cars. And I, it'd be great if you did a walk, sure. walk through, but sure. it's going to be tough. A not, point through. Yeah, a point through. Yeah. Okay. That's, 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 yeah. Cool. Has anybody? I, I might recognize a couple of faces from Palm Springs. Were you guys some yeah. people yeah. were there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it might be a little repetitious, but um, yeah. So. Well, this fantastic project to work on, first of all. Um, I think the series has been very proactive in trying to encourage the cars to have a brand identity, a recognizable one. 
Um, as BMW, we're very fortunate to have icons like the kidneys and the, and the twin headlights uh, flanking them to, to work with. And so in that way, I don't want to say our job was easy, but we had a, a great head start. Um, I think it's really important, though, that those elements, because this is a race car, those elements coincide with the function and not be decorative. So that's, that's one of the most important things to mention probably is that the kidneys are entirely flow through. It's this very open architecture to the front. You'll notice that modern prototypes have a much more flow through uh, style to the front than maybe the traditional wedge of, of say, for example, Can-Am cars of years past. And things like that. So that flow through architecture gives us that chance to make sure that these elements are harmonized with the aerodynamics. And so that's, for me, when the project starts to mean something, really, is that it's a race car and it has to work, but it also has to look like a BMW. So when those are harmonized, we get an authentic solution, and that's really, really important. Um, so yeah, we have the, the kidneys in the, in the center, obviously. They're positioned directly over the front diffuser, which is a really, really important element uh, from the efficiency standpoint of, of the car really important for the for the downforce in particular at the front. Um, those are flanked by the twin icon headlights and we have the nested logo uh, in, in down in the, in the central valley of the hood. So you'll recognize um, that constellation from several recent production cars. So that, I think that really helps make it recognizable. It's kind of hard to see from your vantage point right now, but if, if you were to look from the side, you would see that the car also has a shark nose leans forward and I think that's that's really important obviously to reference our heritage but also to help emphasize that forward inclination of the car that determined look going forward and so all together at the front I think it, it does a good job of delivering that message um, you might be able to see on the sides here we have this boomerang shape that our model Tom is <laughs> showing and um, that's actually very, very similar to the current M4 production car, and the little air breather feature just behind the front wheel. It's actually flipped 180 degrees because we need to coincide with the regulation requirements of the driver visibility, but it's very much that same boomerang shape. On top of that boomerang is the, the very iconic M hook mirror, right? And it points back to the center line of the car but it's also pointing back to the driver. And I think that's really important for M is that it's always about the driver. And so not only does it make it clear from the exterior of the car, but when the driver looks in that mirror, they know they're driving an M. And that's, that's really important. Um, yeah, from a livery standpoint, you can't see too much of the deconstructed M that we have on the, on the rear tail. I would encourage you guys to try to look at the car from different angles from the side if you ever see it out here in the paddock or anything because we really experimented with having a almost abstract mosaic of these triangular shapes if you were to look at it just from a regular angle. But if you get down in direct side view and you look from axle center line height, that M logo actually clicks right into place. And so it's those little Easter eggs we've tried to build into the car. And we're really happy with. What's yep. with the leaper? So, excellent question. What was the question? Can you repeat the question. Is that I asked you? That's the only yeah. spot right yep. here with the classic purple. This guy, from like the this guy knows the presentation. <laughs> so the, the, the reason for that is that we've got purple and blue directly next to each other. Obviously, the red and the M colors that we all understand. The blue and purple also happen to be the natural colors of electricity. So we want to make sure that we're referencing hybrid power with this exterior, right? And so purple also, in a racing context, happens to be the color, as I'm sure some of you guys know, to signify the fastest lap time or the fastest sector time. And so we positioned it actually in driver view as just designs a subtle reminder to me. <laughs> these guys the car might have that capability but uh, yeah it's a little bit of uh, so there is there is some meaning into awesome. that position but also the color what about the carbon fiber right so um, 
from a racing livery standpoint, one of my most important things to always try to bring to any project is, is contrast. Because when that thing goes by you on, on this straightaway, you're not going to see any color really. You're, you're just going to see major differences in tone. And so for visibility's sake, it's really important to have a strong tick-tock relationship, let's say, between strong blocks of, of white or, for example, here also black. But if we were to do that with a black graphic, we would technically be adding weight to the car. And so we saw it as a great opportunity to celebrate the authentic material. This carbon fiber is obviously beautiful, but it also gets us that contrast. But it saves roughly, I would say, 30% of the weight of the livery for all these cars. So as we go in racing, trying to find every single little nuance, um, getting the graphic design, accomplish its purpose, but also save weight is kind of like a win-win. The one thing I would say is the only piece of matte black is right here, directly in front of the driver. And you'll notice in a lot of M liveries, we have that matte black section extending forward from the drivers. And that's all about driver orientation, because what this does is reduces glare, and it helps the driver focus. So we've used that as really a trademark throughout all of our racing liveries recently to try to extend the driver orientation from the inside of the car, which you guys are probably familiar with, with the way that the dash kind of points toward the driver and things like that. But now we've transitioned it to the exterior. But again, it's this very small little piece.